Hi friends! Surprise, surprise, we have another bullet journal video! Today, I'm doing something that I don't think I've ever done on this channel, or if I have, it's been a very long time, uh, in that I am setting up my book bullet journal. <laughs> so, this is in my Archer and Olive uh, 8x8, so they're square size, and just kind of a fun fact. <laughs> so, for my cover pages and just sort of general themes every month, uh, I use Caitlin Plans' stickers basically exclusively. So what I'm doing there is I'm just counting out how many books I've already read and then estimating how many more I think I'm going to read before November starts so that I can make these little, uh, what I've been calling read if pages. So they're book recommendations based on, I'm like, if you like this, then you'll probably like this sort of thing. But here I am using her Let's Stay Home set, which is very reminiscent of uh, her sort of like rainy day and um, she had this sort of like cozy library uh, sticker sheet that she used in the past, which I just loved, <laughs> honestly. I'm pairing it with some washi from Paper Minty Studio and Create With Mandy. Eventually I'm gonna grab that leaf washi again. I'm just not tired of leaves yet, guys. <laughs> and so here I'm just making like a cute little kind of door quote page. And then on the right, it's gonna be the cover. So it's just gonna say November reading journal on it. And here, what I'm doing, I keep flipping back and forth to remind myself of what pages I constantly and like consistently need. So I know that I need a reading log. I know that I need reading stats because I like to track those. Um, I also like to include a TBR just because I, for a while I was doing these, these reading challenges constantly every single month and I was getting so burnt out about them. But the best part of it being a new month is, you know, sort of taking a moment and thinking about what books you want to read next. <laughs> and I am making a sort of two-page TBR devoted spread in this, which I'm really excited for. I love me a good two-page TBR because sometimes it's just too big to be contained on one page. <laughs> Um, especially if you're like me and you, I don't know, I like to see things very visually, so we'll, we'll get there when we get there, but, um, that was sort of an exciting moment for me. I also, I'm, I'm really enjoying doing the book recommendations. So some of the books that I read in October that I just like absolutely loved, the first one is Kiss Her Once For Me. This comes out on November 1st, so you can put it on your November TBR, which is very exciting. Um, it is a sapphic Christmas rom romance slash rom-com set in Portland. Uh, it's written by Alison Cochran, who wrote The Charm Offensive, which everyone that I've talked to has really loved that book, just because it was sort of uh, the first of its kind, and I haven't read a sapphic uh, Christmas rom-com, though I do know that they, they do exist, um, but uh, essentially it's like, it's a second chance romance because they met on a snow day and they kind of fell, like, fell into like very quickly, um, but they uh, didn't end up, you know, meeting up again uh, for reasons you find out in the book <laughs> and she so uh ellie meets up with uh jack again because she's agreed to fake date her brother <laughs> it's a whole thing um but it's it's just kind of wacky in the best way possible and I really, really love it. And I'm going to be recommending it just sort of nonstop, honestly. I think other October books that I read and really enjoyed. Uh, I read If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, which I, not to be confused with All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and C.L. Herman. <laughs> I keep writing one when I mean to write the other. 
but if we were villains is a dark academia book and so basically dark academia just means like it takes place at school and is kind of dark <laughs> um and it's it's a very large genre but this one is definitely more focused on sort of the private college shakespearean theater conservatory vibes um and at the beginning of the story you find out that um the main character has just been released from jail uh where he served a sentence of like 10 years or something like that and the cop who sort of led his uh arrest he's going back with him so oliver uh back to the school and trying to sort of figure out if everything that he knows is true or not um and so it's told in flashbacks and acts and it's I, I've seen it recommended a lot for fall and that's with good reason just because it when you read it it feels like fall and I feel that way about mysteries thrillers and dark academia those are all very fall books for me fantasy fantasy is year-round let's be honest but I also like fantasy a little bit more in the winter Let me know if you guys want to see me make these, uh, r those read if pages, uh, whether it be in a video or on like a live stream sort of thing, because I do make a lot of them at once. Um, just because, I don't know, I really like talking about books and I want to give you more opportunities to hear about books uh, rather than just once a month in the wrap up. Now, that being said, I do quite like hearing about good books rather than bad books, but the only things that make the journal are like the good books because I read enough that I can be picky about which ones I want to actually like highlight. But this is my TBR page, and I'm really excited. So we're going to talk about all of the books that I want to read this month. So the first one, just off the top of my head, uh, is The Dawn Hounds. Basically, I started this a while back on audio, and I was just having some issues. I have issues when it comes to fantasy on audio just in general. Um, and so this one is sci-fi, but with pirates and cops. I, I'm, I'm not really sure if that's the best way to describe it, but that's what I've gleaned so far. <laughs> and I'm really excited to read it. <laughs> um, another one on my list is Well Traveled, um, which is the fourth book in Jen DeLuca's sort of like Ren Fair series. I'm not even sure who's left to focus on, but I'm gonna read it because I'm excited for it. <laughs> I also want to read The Happy Homebody, um, which is by I think, Elizabeth Gray. Uh, she is at the greater good on Instagram. Uh, basically, she came out with this sort of like, it's nonfiction, but it's not a memoir. Um, I think it's about like, you know, making a happy home and like design projects and things like that which I'm very excited for just because I love her as a human and I'm also very excited to kind of make this place where I live feel like a home. Another book on my TBR, which is actually the uh, Knox Book Club pick, uh, is Detransition Baby. And so this is essentially a book about three women uh, who are sort of drawn together by an unexpected pregnancy. And I'm not really sure what else it's about, but I also know that I want to go in kind of blind for it. Um, also, as a note, you'll see in a couple of seconds, I pull up my Notion database, which has all of the books on my shelves that are currently unread. This is my favorite way to keep track of my NetGalley and physical and audio TBRs, um, just because these are all the books that I actually have. I can read all of these without needing to pay anything, which is just mind-blowing. 
another book uh, on my TBR, which is one that I've been meaning to read for like the last year, basically, uh, is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea, which it has to do a lot with sort of like mythology and gods and the spirit realm which I'm really digging it right now. It's definitely like more on the YA side than adult, but that's not necessarily a problem. So also having to do with uh, gods and I think the spirit realm as well is The Sunbearer Trials by Aiden Thomas. He wrote Cemetery Boys, which I was just a huge, enormous fan of. And this is like, Essentially, Mexican demigods is sort of the way that they're they're phrasing it in the blurb, um, who have to compete in trials to sort of like ascend. And I think it's going to be really interesting. It is a duology, and I do love a, a duology because sometimes with trilogies, the second book just sucks. So <laughs> I'm really honestly hoping for the best here. This month, I'm also picking up All Boys Aren't Blue. Um, so I've had this on my TBR for forever, um, and one of my Instagram friends, DJ, actually sent it to me, which is amazing, and so now I'm going to actually get to read it. And it's a sort of a collection of essays about uh, what it's like to be LGBT and Black in America, and I'm just really excited to sort of dig into it. I'm also going to be reading Lunar Love this month, which doesn't come out until January, but it sounds like it's just going to be so fun. Um, it's sort of about a traditional matchmaking service versus a like internet app, Tinder sort of matchmaking service. Um, enemies to lovers, so they're going to fall, they're going to be hate each other and then fall in love and then, you know break up in the third act because that's just how it works um, but it's gonna be really exciting to sort of read that especially in contrast to Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter because it's sort of the difference between matchmaking and having this sort of mysterious hot guy's number just by a complete misdial um, and I'm not really sure how that one's gonna go I think there is a definitely going to be like some sexting in it <laughs> um but it it's just sort of that pure coincidence kind of serendipity that really gets me excited about a book so there's that and the last one that i'm really really excited about is my best friend's exorcism by grady hendrix so i'm gonna read the book and then i'm gonna watch the amazon tv show but essentially it's set in like the late 1980s and this girl um when her best friend starts acting differently becomes convinced that she has been possessed by a demon <laughs> and you know, since it's Grady Hendrix, I'm assuming that she actually is. Um, but it's kind of gonna be about that, like, middle school, high school life, but also with just some huge drama. And, like, high school is actually going to be a horror story. Like, literally. And that's just... <laughs> I can't even believe it, right? It's just, it sounds amazing. And the the TV show on Amazon, it looks gritty, but also kind of fun and slapstick and kitschy, I think. And I love it. Like, I, I have honestly loved everything by Grady Hendrix that I've ever read. So I'm happy. I'm really, really happy with hopefully reading this book. <laughs>
that's everything. So here's the final flip through. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more of my videos. Comment down below what you're looking forward to reading in November. Um, and we'll see how many of my books actually end up in my wrap up next month. Uh, and as always, happy planning.